Welcome back and happy Friday. Um, this has been a very rough week for me. Uh, me and the rest of my family, my wife and both of my kids, got struck with the plague on Monday. Uh, my son woke up with a very high temperature, high fever, it was about 102 degrees uh, that morning. And then that eventually moved on to me and then my other son and then my wife and we have just been sick and battling with this shit all week. Just constant chills, fevers, sweats, body aches, a really bad cough, congestion. Uh, so I've just been, it's been a horrible week and we've, you know, we tested, there's no COVID. Um, didn't bother going to the, to the doctor because that would just be a waste of time. They would just be like, oh, you have a bad virus. Um, so I think we might be on the mend starting today, hopefully, because we have a traveling weekend coming up tomorrow. Um, but I do have some content for you guys today. I had planned on doing some reviews and stuff this week, but I just could not, I could not get off the, the goddamn couch. It just, it's been a miserable week. Um, and on top of this, uh, a lot of people have been asking me, and so I figured I'd give a really brief update um, about the job situation. So it has been since January 31st since I was laid off of my job, so it's been several months. I've applied to hundreds of places, and I've had probably about 15 interviews. This week alone, I had an interview every single day this week. So I still did the interviews, even though I was feeling miserable and I had a high, high fever. Um, these are all remote interviews on webcam, um, so I didn't have to go into an office or anything. But I had three of the interviews this week. I was running at least 101 temperature. Um, obviously, I was taking stuff to try and reduce it. And just the, the, when the interview was over, it'd be like an hour long, I was just drenched in sweat. <laughs> like, just, it was awful. So, but I think I'm doing well because uh, I keep moving on to the next rounds. Um, and I did get a verbal offer yesterday for one position. I'm interviewing for three separate companies right now. So now I'm in the stages of let's try and uh, do some um, counter offering here for salaries. So it was really grim there for a while. I was not getting any hits. I was not getting any responses. My I was getting a lot of rejection letters, um, but it looks like this might be coming to an end finally. So I'm just really, really happy because it has been very rough these last couple of weeks um weeks months like it's been getting pretty pretty tough to live with no sustainable income so anyway today i'm laying on the couch i finished up my final round of interviews for this week i'm laying on the couch and i get a boom like knock on the door and we have our, our like a video doorbell and i'm like who the hell is at our door and I don't answer the door for anybody. I don't even answer my phone for anybody unless I know who it is. And even then, sometimes I don't. Um, and he, I noticed it was the mailman. And I was like, oh, there's a package? Um, and we haven't been buying stuff. Like, so packages would come, like, almost every day back when, you know, we had income coming in. Um, like Amazon packages, final records. Uh, but it's been several, several weeks since that's been like that. Um and, uh, and he puts a big package down and he's staying there and he's waiting and then he goes to the doorbell and he was like I'm just going to place it right here it doesn't need a signature but um I didn't want to I didn't want to let you know and I was and I was like oh yeah cool thanks I was, thought that was kind of weird it's like why is he doing that cuz normally he'll just leave the package and go turns out it's because it's this internet international package with all of these fragile stickers around it and I'm like what the heck is that so I look at it, it says it's from Intuit Records. So Adwin over at Intuit Records uh, reached out to me a little while ago and said, you know, hey, loved your video about the stuff that you bought from Iron Fortress. Um, I'm going to send you a little care package. Shoot me your address. And we talked back and forth. And I did not expect it to be this quick. This That was probably almost two weeks ago. And this came super fast. So... Let's unbox it. I have no idea what's in here other than what's on the declaration form. It says that there's five CDs and 10 cassettes. Mother of God. I am so excited. This is the best I've felt all week. You would think getting a job offer would have made me feel incredibly good. It, this just really made me happy. 
So let's unbox it and let's show off what he sent me. I'm assuming there's probably going to be some duplicates here and, and probably for giveaway purposes, maybe. I don't know. How the fuck? Where is the cut line for this box? Okay, am I dumb? <laughs> is it on the bottom? It's on the bottom. I was dumb. That's what it came down to. <laughs> um, this is very nicely packaged, I must say. Very nicely packaged. Sometimes things come internationally, and it looks like... Oh my god! Is that a t-shirt? Are you kidding me right now? Come on, this is too much. This is too much. I need to put it... I need to... Wow. Holy mother of God. Okay. There's a lot of shit in here. <laughs> oh my God. It's like Christmas morning. Um, okay. Wow. All right. This is probably what I'm most hype about. Oh my God. I'm so excited. This is like Christmas morning. It's a killing addiction shirt. That is so cool. I was not expecting that. That is so cool. My son has a dance competition this weekend. That's going on the body for it. <laughs> well, I hope the dance moms appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my God. I did not expect a t-shirt. I love getting t-shirts. I don't ever buy them because I would much prefer having physical media. Okay, so we got the CDs on top oh yeah so there is some stuff in here that i can possibly use for a giveaway but we'll see we'll see we'll see i don't want to get people's hopes up here so let's touch on the cds first oh he he definitely <laughs> declared this less than what it was that's funny i've heard you know there's oh fuck yeah okay sorry oh uh -huh. <laughs> this is something that i was going to order directly from the band because I didn't want to spend the shipping costs on it. And he sent it to me, so that made me really happy. Anyway, okay, so let's get all the tapes out. Woo! I am beaming. This is the most energy I have had in a week. Wow. All right, so I am set for reviews and listening for, like, the next two months. And then we've got... An altar, ooh, that is a really nice patch, an altar patch. So I've actually considered starting collecting patches, obviously not right now, but eventually when I'm able to, because I think they're really cool. I don't, I'm not like a battle vest person, so they wouldn't go in there, but I might make like little like collages to hang on the wall, like put them in a nice like glass picture frame or something or shadow box or something. I don't know. I was talking about this with my, with my metal friends on Instagram about, because they all do it. They all have battle vests and stuff like that. And the patches just look so cool. Oh, I missed one. Next one. Um, the patches just look awesome. So I might start doing that. So anyway, and then in here is also some some uh, posters, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, LG Petrov and yeah. Okay, so here we go. Just some posters. It's the same one, two of them. And then I think that's it. I think that was everything in there. Yeah, okay, so let me put that there. Let's move the t-shirt over here on top of some other stuff that I also got some pre-order stuff in. Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff to show and then two stacks. So there's two massive stacks of tapes and then massive stack of CDs. So let's start with this one. I'm not going to open them all and show them off on camera because that's going to take forever. There's a lot here. Should I? No. I'll save it for a collection update. And I'll show you off all of the goodies for it. Um, so the first one is Eternal's Cryptic Lust. This just came out fairly recently. I can't remember. Maybe it might have been last week. Or maybe it hasn't come out yet. I can't remember. Um, no, it's out already. I think this band is out of Arizona. But it's also a split release with, with uh, Raw Schools Records. So this is the CD release for, from Raw School, Skulls. I can never say their name. Raw Skulls Records. And then into it did the tape. So I, Raw Skulls is, God, I can never say their name. Raw Skulls 
Skulls. <laughs> wow, okay. Anyway, the shipping for this CD was a little bit pricey, but the band themselves had copies of it on Bandcamp, so I was going to snag that when I had extra funds available, which has been very minimal. Um, but I've listened to this several times on Bandcamp, and this is killer. This is definitely one of my favorite releases to come out this year. So this makes me so happy that this came in here. Uh, it was the first thing I saw, other than the t-shirt. So super pumped about that. So yeah, I will uh, I will like open all these, and then I'll do like a collection update and share like the books and all this stuff. And then here is another Eternal album. Uh, this is probably, let me pull up there. Uh, metal Archives because I can't remember if this is an EP or what. Uh, Eternal. Can you tell that I'm sick? Ugh. <laughs> uh, have enough energy to do a video. I should have just did a live stream for this. Okay. This is an EP. Okay. So. This is their EP that came out in 2023, so last year. So this is the first time I ever heard of this band. They've only been around for like two years. They had another EP that came out in 2022. This is called Faceless Evil. Again, on the Raw Skull, Skulls <laughs> Records um, label. So that makes me super happy. This band is awesome. They're out of Arizona. They're like a very deathy, thrashy. They got a thrashy sound to them as well. Um, very, very good stuff. Um, okay, so now we've got, oh yeah, so now we've got Burial with Frigid Cold. I actually had this in a cart. Who, which distro had this recently? And it was on sale. I feel like it might have been NWM, but that might be wrong. Uh, so that's cool. So I'll talk further, further more about these bands in a different video. Um, and then we've got, what is this? Gravestone, Hello Be Thy Grave. I don't know if I'm familiar with this one. This looks like it just came out as well. That's a cool cover, though. Is it like some death sludge? I bet it is, just based off of that cover. I don't know. Again, I'm, I have tons of stuff I need to listen to. So we'll do. I'll do another follow-up video of all these releases. Okay, so here we go. We've got Alter here. Uh, and God created Satan to believe his mistake such a great album title um yeah i mean there you go are those boobs oh no wow melanie that is a goat horn <laughs> a goat skull oh my god uh anyway there's the back um and then this one is just before dawn of the battlefields i don't think i know what this is but if I had to guess, it might be some bolt thrower worship, maybe. I don't know. But we will definitely dive in. And here we go, another great, awesome CD. I'm actually really excited to have this on CDs because I only have it on tape. I showed this off in another video, but now I can play it in my car because I didn't want to buy the pan camp code because I'm such a cheap ass. Uh, and this is Infected Virulence. Music of Melkor. So, yeah. Awesome. I am so glad I have that on CD. So, 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 so happy. So, that's the stack of CDs that came. A lot of great stuff right here. I'm just so pumped. Thank you so much, man. Oh, my God. Can't believe this. Now, we've got a ton of tapes. And there's some stuff in here that I was waiting to get up from Iron Forge just because I knew he was going to get it in stock. And... You just, that, no, I don't have to. So the first one is uh, Toxo Death with Phantasms. This is fantastic. Um, and again, I will dive deep into these on another video, talk about the style of death metal, when it was released, what it sounds like. But I'm excited. This was on my shopping list. Um, this was one that I was not as familiar. What is this one called again? I can't remember. Uh, let me... Pull up the website. Deadhead, that's right. Shadow Soul. This is one that I wasn't as familiar with. I needed to go and listen to it. So the thing about Intuit Records is they find these really obscure bands or these obscure releases that came out such a long time ago, like very underground releases that most likely Ken 
already owns. He's already got the original copies of them. But he re reissues these. So it looks like this came out um, 35 years ago. So yeah, this looks, and this is like some death thrash, it looks like. So immediately I'm not familiar with this one. But the thing about Intuit Records is, I love that they do this because I go, I listen to it, and I'm like, yeah, I need to add that to the collection. It's so fun to like chase those gems those underground gems so and then that looks like an all over print tape which looks awesome um oh shit i'm sorry my wife was texting me um anyway she was late for a meeting i don't apparently she had enough time to, to tell me that okay so the next one is headless dawn freak show ballet i absolutely love that cover <laughs> And I love the way this tape looks. So this was another one that was on my shopping list. Um, I went and I found it on YouTube. I listened to it. And I was like, yep, I want that. So I'm, I'm excited I got that this is there. Uh, this one is only going for like two to three bucks or like three to four bucks right now um, on the website. So this is like grindcore band. Definitely check this out. Um, a lot of the tapes on here range from... They're obviously they're in euros, but in, when you do conversion, they equal out to be like seven dollars to like three bucks. The thing that gets you is that the shipping from Intuit Records is expensive, so you have to put a lot into the package to make it worth it. You know, international shipping sucks to the U.S. I just I hate it. So there you go. There's that one. What am I at here? Sixteen minutes out. We're fine. All right, denial of shreds of flesh. I actually think I have this on CD. I feel like somebody sent me. It actually might be a boot, now that I think about it. Um, there you go. This is really good stuff, too. All right. The, oh, yes. I wanted this one, too. Desolate. Deface and obliterate. This is really good shit. This is good. Good, good, good stuff. This is... I Okay, so when I did my initial order with uh, Iron Fortress, he had this in stock, and I didn't see it. I would have added this into my order because this was one of the ones that I wanted. But this is good. Nice little pro printed tape there. Um, so awesome. That's the first stack. Oh my god, I have so much stuff to listen to. I am so excited. And of course, I'm traveling this weekend, so I'm not going to be home and be able to do it. But I have several hours tonight that I can do it. Um, so there you go. All right, what is this one now? Um... I can't read the font because I am a dingbat. So let me see if I can find it on the website. This actually might be out of print because I don't see it on the website anywhere. It looks familiar. Fuck. Does it say Armored Angel? Uh, I should have, maybe I should have unboxed this beforehand. <laughs> this is probably the one of the ones I'm not familiar with that much. If I had to guess, this is some heavy metal, maybe? Maybe some doom? Um, I don't know. I'm on into its website and I don't see it right now. Maybe it's just sold out. That could be it. All right, for the sake of being able to say what it is. Let's go to their Instagram. How about that? You know, I gotta at least say what it is. If you're not familiar, which this might just be me that's not familiar. I, I admit I'm not familiar with everything. I don't always know everything that they, they put out. And they have exposed me to a lot of things I had never heard of, which is what a really good label does. And Intuit Records is a fantastic label that does that. Is this actually... Yeah, it is. What's the number on it? 78. So, no, it was out... Mm, not that long ago. So, it's probably out of print now because that's a pretty lower number. Uh, I'm not finding it. Jesus Christ. Into records, this guy will tell me. Records, this guy. Here we go. Okay, let's find it. Let's find the catalog number. Into it records. Okay, we are at 25. This is what, 78? 
you guys enjoying this great content uh, this actually looks like something I'm gonna like because it just you know you can just you can always just tell when it when a cover looks like that generally you can tell armored angel I was right stick martyr why don't I know what this is it's an EP huh okay anyway I was right about that. I did say it right. I did read it right. I'm not always wrong. Okay, anyway, all right. we're going to speed this up now because we are now at 20 minutes. Okay, so the next one is Sadism's, Sadism with Obscurins. <laughs> Butchered that. Uh, but this is also really good. This was another one that was on my shopping list that I had planned to get when I got extra funding. So thank you for, for sending that to me. That was one that I actually really, really wanted. Um, this next one, I believe, is very frequent like just got released disparity with the what is this called the innocent is that how you spell that this just might be a different way of spelling it uh, anyway uh this is good too um this is a pretty new release from into it so i remember seeing this being shown off on the instagram page also just want to take a time out and tell you the way that they print these tapes are so nice. Just, and the, like they're always really nicely laid out. Anyway, okay. So now we've got ex. Wait, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Does this say exterminator? My God. Exterminated. Okay. Wow. Systemonic, system, systematic demise. Reading hard. Jesus, um, this is this some more death thrash? I feel like you can almost kind of just tell if, if it's death thrash, or is it just Swedish death metal? Swedish death metal. It's their debut demo. So I'm not too familiar with this, so I'll have to check this out. This is going for like f five bucks. Uh, there's a black Neuralco case, so I can't show the tape. But again, these will all be shown off on another video and talk about what the music is and what it sounds like. Uh, just Before Dawn, A War Too Far. Another one that I need to dive into. That cover is hard to see, but it is a battle cover. It is like an army man with his arms around another guy. Uh, see? Yeah. And then a nice yellow tape. So that. And then finally, the last one is actually another one that I am really pumped about. This is a, a pretty new release that they also just put out. And this is awesome. So please go listen to this, and I will talk about it more in depth. Uh, but this is Sarcasm with Morning Ghoul. Huh. And man, this tape looks awesome. I love that color of the tape. Um, yeah, so I, I went and looked when they, when they uh, said they were talking. When they, bleh, when they showed off that this was going to be their next release, and it was up for pre-order and stuff, I went and listened to it. This is a S Swedish death metal, um, and it's just... Dude, it's so good. If you like, you definitely if you're a fan of of like necrophobic dawn, you're gonna like this. So and like spot on with what it says on the website. So this is very good. So I was really excited about that. So that is everything in this package. I got eight, ten, fifteen tapes. My God, <coughs> sick. I'm sick. I need to. I need to lay it back down, but I'm probably just going to lay on the floor and listen to all this music. I can't, my mind is so blown. This is so incredible. Thank you so much. I, amazing, amazing. Um, so once again, I'm going to unwrap all these things, get rid of, take all the shrink off of them, and I will do one massive collection update video, and I'll show off the tape the J cards, the booklets, the CDs, um, and talk about the music. Link everything in the description of where you can listen to it. It's probably going to be a two-part series because this is a lot of music to get through. Um, and I might even do short, small little sound clips because I don't think that I'll run into copyright issues. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Um, but... Somebody complained that I stopped doing that a while back, and the reason for that is because I don't want to risk losing my channel because they will shut it down. And I've gotten several copyright strikes where I've said just here, take my, 
my revenue, which have fun with those $2. Um, but eventually YouTube gets tired of it and they're like, you're done. So I just stopped doing it. I don't want to deal with it anymore. And in a couple of cases is it was somebody being a jerk and claiming it was theirs. So, um, that's all that I have. Uh, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next video.